Hey everyone, my name is Samantha, yes without an H, and today I am here to do something that I think I'm actually good at. So when it comes to skills and makeup and life in general, there are very few things that I consider myself good at. Um, for example, makeup skills, average. Um, life skills, average. Math skills, average. But when it comes to finding a good pair of eyelashes, I think that I'm good at it. Anytime that I am wearing a pair of lashes, they are going to be good lashes. There is not going to be any mediocre aspect of the eyelashes. So what I decided to do was go on Amazon and buy a bunch of eyelashes. And basically I'm going to try them on and tell you what I think about these pairs of eyelashes that I bought, as well as give you information on how much they cost and how they feel and all of that. And really this is just a video to justify me spending a little under a hundred dollars on eyelashes yes i know i just had to find a way to make myself feel better about that so we're here so here is the box right here of eyelashes that i ordered from amazon and i think the way i'm gonna do it so obviously i'm just gonna put them on each pair and i am actually still missing one of the pairs at the end i am going to pick the pair of lashes that was the best bang for your buck so the best pair of eyelashes with the best price um second i will do the best quality so that being that they don't look too plasticky then our third category will be wearability so we'll in that, I will rate the ones that are the most glam and the ones that are the most natural. And I think that's it. Maybe if we think of another category, then obviously you'll be here to see it. I think with that all said, let us get started. All right, so here next to me, I have this little mini mirror, which I actually use to put on my eyelashes. It's very tiny, but it's not magnified at all. And I really like that. Then I have some eyelash little tweezers, um, applicators, I guess you could call them. So these actually have a little like lifted up tip. Um, but if you don't have a specific eyelash applicators, you can just use tweezers, of course. Um, and then I have my favorite eyelash glue at the moment, which is the Duo Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive, which is in white clear. Um, and this one actually is different from the little tube instead of like just squeezing out the tube, which I had a lot of problems with because I either have a really heavy hand or I am impatient, which is probably both. But this one has a little like applicator stick that you can then run out along the little eyelash band. And with the other one, I just always had problems that I was squeezing out too much and wasting a lot of product. So there are all of my things, and I also have this little light right here, which I will actually use to then show you the eyelashes in better lighting. This lighting isn't all that great, and it is casting a lot of shadows on me, but we are just working with what we have because we are on a budget, and um, so I will use that. And as you can see, there's my collection of eyelashes behind me. Um, I do, one of my goals originally was to compare these eyelashes that I purchased to my favorite pair of eyelashes, which are the Miami, So Extra Miami by Lily Lashes, which they look like this. Um, Lily Lashes are very expensive, apart from the fact that I don't know where I can buy these again. I bought them at a Planet Beauty in Los Angeles when I was there this summer. And now I am afraid of spending the $26, I think they're $26, to buy just the Miami lashes, buy Lily lashes, and them not live up to my expectations since I have tried these. So hopefully I can find some that I like more than these or are similar to these. Um, 
So I will leave these out so that I can compare them to the eyelashes. So I am actually going to start with the first lashes that are on my order. Um, which are these lashes? Right here. And they say that they are vegan lashes and they are cruelty free. Um, they're described as high volume false lashes, fluffy 3D lash lashes packed five pairs. That is the full title of these. Um, they were $8.29 for all five. All five. One, one of them is hiding behind this strip. Um, which is a pretty good price for getting five eyelashes. But that will all depend on what they actually look like. And I should also mention that I do not like eyelashes that have thick bands. So, of course, putting on false eyelashes, if you're not experienced, is a difficult process. But it is even more difficult, I believe, for even experienced eyelash users um, when it has a thick band. Um, I have been wearing eyelashes probably since the 8th grade. That was probably when I first started wearing eyelashes. And those were my bad days where, you know, the eyelash would kind of unstick itself. I really didn't know where it went on my eye. And now I am pretty experienced. I wear eyelashes almost every single time that I do my makeup. So I do, but I still do not like thick bands. Um, I just think they're too hard to work with. So that being said, let me open this one up and see what they look like. I probably should have brought some scissors. These eyelashes do have kind of a plasticky look, I'm not going to lie. So they do they don't look so plasticky on camera, but in person, in my opinion, they are pretty plasticky. But we will try them on and that will be the real judge of character. So I'm going to show you guys how long it is on my eye without trimming. So first of all, the band is kind of flimsy, which isn't a problem. Again, that's actually something that I like. I like them being thin and kind of flexible. That makes it easier for me to kind of move the eyelash and mold it to my eye shape because um, everyone's eye shape is very different. So when you have a pair of eyelashes that is that the band is very stiff. It makes it harder for everyone to wear them. It doesn't make them very universal. Um, so I'm going to just lightly press them on my eye and see what they look like and how long they are. So I can get a feel for how much I'll have to trim. Whoa, okay. So here they are just resting on my eyes. Um, they don't look bad. They are kind of long. But I think that's not a bad length. So I may just risk it all and not cut it. Hmm. Maybe I will cut it just a little bit. So I changed my mind and actually had to go find scissors. So I am going to cut it a little. I am going to cut just a tiny bit off because I sometimes cut too much and that's obviously a problem because then your eyelash is not long enough and you can tell. So this is the first lash of the Jim Meyer lashes that I showed you guys. Um, and I think that they look good from far away. I don't think that you can tell that they look plasticky. Um, they also do have an eye opening, an eye opening effect. Um, I think my, this eye definitely looks more awake than this eye to me. Maybe that's just me. Um, I do think from up close, though, you can tell that they look a little more plasticky. 
and they are a little more flat so if you look at these lashes by lily lashes they look more kind of like well they are 3d mink lashes but they look more sporadic kind of more they have a little more life a little more movement and these are kind of just flat they don't really do much for me they do look really nice so if you're looking for a good pair of lashes that is a good number of pairs for the price then these lashes are definitely for you and they do have a nice shape they do have this little crisscross pattern on the eyelashes all the way across so i do think that they look nice but i have to say they're not my favorites so next up we have the last goes lashes the title is luxurious 100 percent siberian mink fur 3d false lashes last ghost design natural messy thick long volume fake eyelashes make up five pairs per box in the style a06 um which they look like this so this was actually packaged a little poorly by amazon so one pair is literally folded down so um they, the packaging doesn't look too appealing, but um, this is actually kind of a little cheat cheat for me because I have used these eyelashes before and they are a pair of eyelashes that I like a lot. These do have a like, lot of movement compared to the last pair. Um, they don't have quite as much as mo of movement as the Lily lashes, but they are a little more lively. Um, so I know that I'm going to have to trim these. So let's see. So again, they just have a lot of movement. You can see that, well, you can't so much inside of the package, but you can see that they have a lot of movement, a lot of little fibers sticking up and out and around and about so I don't know if you can see that all that well but it does have a lot of little sporadic fibers that are kind of pointing every which way I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for the last one and just kind of lay it on my eye and I know, I know that to some of you it might not be the best technique to only put on one eyelash and not the other one because then you don't get the full effect but um, I will put on both eyelashes to the ones that I like more just because I feel like it's more worth it to you guys to see both of them in that sense. So this is what the eyelash looks like just laying on my eye. And again, like I said, I'm going to have to trim it a little bit. So let's do that. Okay, so that is that eyelash. And as you can see, these do have, these don't have a crisscross pattern like the first eyelashes. They are very much um, fuller and that can sometimes cause there to be that little black cast shadow, which I had said I was going to use this and haven't even used it. Um, it can cause a little like black cast shadow on your eye. Um, but I don't mind it too much if you do then these eyelashes are not for you because like I said, they are very full. You do see a little gaping there, which is why I do like them. I would not like a completely spidery, full and opaque eyelash. Um, so these are some that I actually really like. And this is actually just still it on my eye without glue. So they do, they are very flexible. They are, they do have a very thin band, which is why I like them a lot. So to save some time, they're not perfectly glued down, but I did try and do the best that I could while brushing, I guess you could say. So these are what the eyelashes look like. So as you can see, I look like a completely different person in my opinion. Um, this is usually what I look like. And um, I do love these lashes. I love how sporadic and fluffy they look. I love... I just love the overall look. I love how it doesn't look like I'm too extra. At least I would hope that it doesn't. Um, but I also love that it's like the perfect amount of 
drama and extraness in my own scale and spectrum. Um, so I would have to say that these lashes are still amazing, which disclosure, I have not worn these eyelashes in a little over a year. So I actually did forget what they looked like on me, um, but I do love them. So this next pair of eyelashes are called the Nucli 25 millimeter Mink Lashes 5D Mink False Eyelashes Long Thick Dramatic Lashes One Pair Pack. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. So as you can see, in the packaging, they do kind of have a plasticky look. I have not opened them, so I do not know what they look like outside of the packaging. Um, I did buy three from this brand, so right now I am hoping and praying that I chose the right one. Um, it says that this is the style 35, no, sorry, 3D25-3. Um, so <laughs> they look very dramatic, and I'm kind of scared. This is what they look like outside of the packaging. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, so they have, they do have a lot of that little sporadicness that I was talking about that I like in eyelashes. So hopefully these will be good. I can tell that they're going to be a little long on the ends. Um, and I paid $7.88 for these eyelashes. It kind of looks like a centipede. I'm not going to lie. And I'm kind of scared. If these look ridiculous, I might automatically take them off, and I'm so sorry if you actually wanted to see this through. Okay. These are huge. Have you guys ever seen that tweet that was on Instagram? Of like that person with those very very long eyelashes that they say that they got from aliexpress these look like them like i truly cannot envision a world where these would look coco doesn't like them either okay a quick little intermission because coco was hungry but i cannot imagine a world where trimming these down would make them look any better they just look very intense very fake very if you wanted something for halloween these are the perfect lashes for you and maybe if you have a bigger eye and a bigger eyelid these would look great but for me these are a no and i will be taking these off so just to get these out of the way because now i am terrified i am going to go ahead and do the other nuclei um eyelashes and these are the These are the Nucli 25mm Mink Lashes 5D Mink False Eyelashes Dramatic Messy Cross Lashes One Pair Pack. So again, it's in the same packaging. That's what it looks like. And let's pull these out. These also look very long. So maybe these are the perfect eyelashes if you are looking for very, very, very long eyelashes. Um, you know what? I don't even have to say anything. Let's just put these on, see what they look like because I am terrified. So this band is a little stiffer. It almost seems like it'll break if I just like move it in the wrong direction. Kind of like something that is so, think of like spaghetti, like raw spaghetti. When you like go like that and it breaks. That's kind of what I feel like this is about to do. So again, these are very long, very dramatic, very, you have to have a specific mindset, a specific event in mind to wear these in my opinion, and I am just not cutting it. I'm not. I'm just not good enough for these lashes. Let's blame it on me, not the lashes. It is my fault. I am not good enough for these lashes. And they're, they are very messy. So you can see there's like a kind of like a spot missing right there. Um, you know, like maybe these would look nice on someone else. Because they are tickling my eyebrow. And they don't look that bad on camera. And as I say that, I am afraid that they actually do look that bad on camera. But they're just not for me. 
there's just a lot going on. Like, where does my eyelash stop and my eyebrow start? So two out of three and the tear continues. We have our last pair right here, which is another Nucli. These are the Nucli 25 millimeter mink lashes, 5D mink false eyelashes, dramatic long thick eyelashes, one pair pack. The fact that it says dramatic long and the other ones have been dramatically long really terrifies me right now but we're just gonna try it because that's what i spent all this money for anyway so might as well let you guys make fun of me for it okay at first glance these do look a lot more tame than all the other ones but God only knows that that is not going to be true once I put this on my eye. Um, so let's just go for it. So these do, again, they are very, very curly. So if you are someone that could pull these off because you like very long eyelashes, they are very curly. And in an alternate universe, they would be the ideal eyelashes. They are just not for me because my, from... The start of my eyelid to my brow bone, there is not a lot of space, but if you are someone who does have a lot of space, this would be good for you. That was the end of my sentence. So, I don't hate them. And just for the laughs, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this one and just go full on out. I'm sorry if I keep shaking the camera. All of these cords are intertwined, which is really causing some technical difficulties. Hence why I said I have very little skills apart from choosing eyelashes. And apparently, even that right now is not going well. Um, let me just preface this by saying that I have... I did look for the eyelashes that had the best reviews, so I played myself, and so did all these people reviewing. They played me. What can I say? I'm easily persuaded. And I actually looked through a lot of pictures, too, so I'm surprised that these look so different on me. Well, I'm not surprised. They look so different on me than on other people because we all have different eye shapes, but they look like dramatically different. They don't look horrible. I think I just need to cut a little more. I say that as I, as I end up with 0% eyelash left, but that's fine, that's fine. And then we're just going to try and make this work. Because that's just the kind of person I am. As I skipped over a whole bunch of other eyelashes because I didn't like how they looked. I really tried. I really did. But I just don't like these. And I'm going to have to admit defeat. Like, they don't look that bad from far away. I don't think they do, at least. They do look very sporadic. And I do admit that I kind of cut them a lot. And that was an accident. But I just, I can't make these work. So these next couple of lashes, I'm going to have some trouble identifying which one is which, which style is which, kind of similar to the nuclei ones. They do look kind of different from the picture, um, but I'm just going to name them both and give you both style names and then we, we can try and decipher and if I figure it out, I can also put it down below which is which. Um, so these are the 3D Mink Lashes by Mikiwi. Um, they are, they come in three pair pack 
Uh, they, are, they say that they are mink lashes, thick, handmade, full strip lashes, cruelty free, luxury makeup, dramatic lashes. Okay. So, upon first glance, this is what the packaging looks like. I know the packaging isn't that important. What's really important is the eyelash within it. But I do think that this is interesting because when I looked at this, I thought that this was just like a plastic bubble on the cardboard itself and that was it. But actually, when you open it up, I think this is so cute. It's like a little compact, a little rose gold compact, which then you can pop open and you have your pair of eyelashes. Okay, so this is what they look like. Okay, I do want to say that these are in the style D390-3. Um, so I did read the right title for these. Um, and they do look kind of plasticky, I'm not gonna lie. The packaging is beautiful, but the eyelashes themselves do look kind of plasticky, which you can't really tell because of the reflect of the glitter behind it. Um, so let me see, and the thing with these as well is that usually when you get a pair of eyelashes and it comes in a pack like this, you know that they match up with your eyes. So this one goes to your right eye because it's on the right side and this one goes to your left side. And when they are in a circle like this, you kind of are left staring at it like, which is which. But I am going to assume that once I pick them out of here, it will be easier to see. Okay, so this entire thing completely slips out. Beautiful. To be honest, I do not like the effect that this is creating for my eye because it kind of looks like I have um, like spokes almost is what I want to call it. Kind of just going in all types of crazy directions. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to try the other pair of lashes before I go ahead with these um, and just see what those look like. These are not my favorite. I do love the packaging, so I really do wish that I loved the lashes in here. And I know the past, I don't know how many lashes I've said that I don't like them, so I'm very sorry. Uh, this is not the outcome I was expecting. So by the way, the three pack of those lashes was $14.99, okay? And then the three pack for this style, which is the D384-3 style, was $13.99. So a dollar less for the three pack. Um, and again, on the back of these, on the, of the cardboard, it does say, as eyelashes are handmade, defective products are unavoidable. Um, if there is any quality problem, please contact us in time. And we will replace or refund you. So, I don't think that what I'm seeing is a result of a product defect, but I did not like the way that those eyelashes were sitting on my eye. Which could just be a preference thing. So, here are these. And this is what they look like again. It's in this nice compact, which I love the idea of this because how many times have you taken off your eyelashes and then you have nowhere to put them because they either came in a little box like this, which you don't really want to keep this box around, at least I don't ever. Um, and maybe you don't have like a lash book like this. Which, in all honesty, when I travel, I'm not taking this whole lash book. So I love the idea of this, where you can just kind of pop your eyelash back into this little case. Um, so let us try one of these on. These, you can tell a little more which one is which, because there is this, like, fanning pattern where it goes, where it goes from, like, shorter to kind of fanning out to a longer one so this is the left eye and let's try this on again this doesn't have as much of a, a sporadic and kind of like fibery pattern as the lily lashes and as the 
as the last ghost uh, lashes, which behind me I have another pack of them, which is in a different style. I know this is kind of turning into a fail because I'm basically saying I don't like every single pair of lashes, but I would rather tell you the lashes that I'm looking at that way and tell you my honest opinion that I don't like them so that you know going in, if you were to decide to purchase this, going in you would know how they look on me and how I feel about them. Um, because these lashes, the last ghost ones, I have gotten asked so many times where I get my lashes when I'm wearing these. And I always say, oh, Amazon, you know the brand is, um, I usually spell that out because I actually don't know how to pronounce this correctly. So I thought that I could possibly find some eyelashes that are, that I like just as much as those. That isn't proving to be very easy, but you know what, that's okay because I can just go and purchase some more and try again. So this eyelash doesn't look that plasticky once it's on your eye, um, which it did kind of in the packaging. And I don't think that it looks that bad. Of course, they're not my favorites. They do kind of have like a different pattern than what I'm used to, um, but they don't look bad. And I think if I were to cut off this longest little hair right here, I think that they would look even better. So uh, I have to decide whether to risk it or not. But let's just do it. Let's just do it because we've already had too many scary moments through this video and we need to redeem ourselves. Okay, so this eyelash isn't glued down. It's just kind of stuck on there with the residue that it had from the packaging. And I have to say, I kind of like it. I do like how it looks. It's something very different from the style that I'm used to, but that was kind of what I was looking for going in, was getting something different than what I was used to. And I do like it. I do think that it looks very different, very sporadic, very kind of pointy, still spoky, like I described the other ones, but I think that this is a much more flattering pattern. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and stick on the other one and see what it looks like then. And hopefully, I still like them. <laughs> so I'm automatically noticing again, they did mention that they are handmade and that can cause for, you know, differences. But you, do you see how it looks right here in this inner corner versus on this one? Like they look pretty different. And I would say that it almost looks like I have two different eyelashes on. I don't know if that's what it looks like from far away, but it just looks a lot more sparse on this side than it does on this side. I'm going to finish laying this one down and then I'm going to look in the big mirror and I will let you know what I think after that. Okay, so I'm back and I looked in my bigger mirror and I have to say that they don't look bad from far away. I actually kind of do like them. Um, I like how they look. And these do have much more of a natural kind of like eyelash extension look because of how they do kind of vary across the way, I guess you want to say, along the path of your natural eyelashes. Which with eyelash extensions, if you haven't had them before, of course when your lash technician puts them on your with the extensions on your eyelash. They do look, for the most part, the same with the exception of little spaces. And I am someone that when I look at my eyelashes after getting extensions, I can really tell where it kind of looks different because again, my, I'm so, my eyes are so important to the focal point of my face that I feel like I just notice that a lot. Um, and that's kind of what's going on here. They look they just kind of look like eyelash extensions like you know where it's gonna differ a little and to be honest from far away you can't tell that they look different i think that it's just if you are someone who likes to look picture perfect and kind of no hair out of place which obviously that's not me as i have a bunch of little flyaways everywhere um these lashes may not be for you but i do like them and i think that they would be nice to just kind of wear out on a 
casual day um, and maybe a day where I don't need to be picture perfect and everything perfectly aligned and everything which nothing is ever perfectly aligned. My eyebrows are literally not sisters, not twins, not even cousins. They are literally estranged cousins removed twice and all everything that you can think of. Um, so yeah, I think that I do actually like these. So the last pair of lashes was just delivered to my mailbox, but my mailbox is up a hill down the way. So I'm actually going to go take Coco out and we're gonna go to the mailbox and see if we can try on our last pair of lashes and hopefully they are nice because I have already let you guys down. But that's okay. Now you don't have to spend your money on these other lashes. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, so Coco decided to run back. So our hair is a little out of place. Um, so the last pair is also by Mikawi, um, which I believe, yes, that was the brand of the two. Um, three packs of lashes, the two, three packs of lashes that um, I just showed. And these are the Mikawi EOS 7K 25 millimeter mink lashes, handmade full strip lashes, eyelashes being 3D luxury makeup, dramatic lashes, and there's more to the title, but I can no longer see it. Um, and this pair of eyelashes was $7.99. So these eyelashes look like this in the packaging. Out of the packaging, these eyelashes have a little plastic cover, which you can remove to then see the eyelashes. Um, this is what they look like outside of the packaging. And to give you kind of like a side view, they do have kind of a lot of movement, which I am excited for. Hopefully these look nice. Um, they do look like they're a bit long in length this way, so let's see. Again, these do say that they're handmade. Which is causing this little front part to look a little weird. So do you see how there's this little hair going this way and then all of them start going this way? But it seems to me that with this brand, them being handmade is maybe causing them to have a couple of flaws. And it looks like the other one is going to be just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I do not like these because of the way that the hand making in them it just isn't counting for a very um, well dispersed pattern. So that being said, I'm now going to rate the eyelashes. We do not have a lot to go off of here, um, but I am going to try. But when it comes to the best looking eyelashes on me, I have to give it to the Lascos eyelashes they just look the most natural the most luxurious it looks like i paid a lot of money for these when in all actuality i didn't so i paid 12.88 for these five pairs that being said i also think that this might be the best bang for your buck because it is five pairs it is only 12.88 compared to the other lashes that i liked which are the mickey um, and the little compact carrying case, which were three pairs for, if I'm not mistaken, this is the 384. So this one was actually the 13.99 one. So it's only a dollar difference, but um, it is two more pairs of eyelashes in this one than in this. This only comes with three, which that difference in price could also just be from the fact that they say they're handmade, 
first of all. And second of all, they also come in that cute little compact case, which I'm sure that must drive up the price some. Um, so that is also the best bang for your buck. And when it comes to wearability, I think that both of the lashes that I really liked, the Lash Ghost and the Mikawis, were both high, should equally win the wearability because I think they are both lashes that you can wear on a casual day as well as on a glam day. But if you do want to be picture perfect or ready to be photographed, do wear the Lash Ghost and not the Mikawis because like I said, the Mikawis have more of a pattern of eyelash extensions where it's a little more sporadic. You can't really tame them as well as the Lash Ghost look just naturally on your eye. Um, so again, if you've had eye eyelash extensions before, you know that it comes with a little spoolie. I have one right here. So I can just get it out. Your eyelash extensions come with a little, little spoolie. Usually your lash technician gives them to you unless they ask you to purchase them separately, which I have never had that experience. Um, and you know you have to basically carry this around and constantly be combing your eyelashes because sometimes one will dip down or they'll cross in a way that doesn't look right. So you can't kind of have to constantly be adjusting them. Um, so they're not, eyelash extensions aren't perfect either. And that's why I compare the Mikawi eyelashes to eyelash extensions because I think that they have a kind of similar behavior. Um, but of course the Mikawis, they are on a band, so they will stay in place. They just kind of have the that effect of not being perfectly even all the way across. Um, so really that's it. I, like I said, did spend quite a bit of money on all these eyelashes. So it is kind of upsetting that I only ended up liking really one of the pairs that I didn't know I would like. I already knew that I would like the last ghost ones. Um, but I didn't know how they looked anymore. But I'm glad that you guys got to see what the Lash Ghost looks like and all the other ones so that you know what not to purchase on Amazon. Because I do still fully believe that Amazon is a good place to buy your eyelashes, especially when it comes to them being affordable. And in that case, because not very many people want to spend $26 on one pair of eyelashes. Because even though these are said to be made a in a sturdier type of way where you can reuse them multiple times. I mean, that's what's said about most eyelashes that you can reuse them most times. And granted that with care, you can use them a lot more times than your average pair of eyelashes. But you'll, you never know what happens. You know, maybe one day you get caught in the rain or you are watching a sad movie and you start crying and then you ruin your eyelashes and there you go, there are $26. So I do believe in finding less expensive ones. Um, so apart from that, I do recommend that you guys go look at Lasco's um, because I just love their lashes. I The only ones that I have tried that I have not liked are their, I think it's A11. A11 I, is very, very full. And so if you're looking for a very, very full lash that is for you, even fuller than the AO6, which are the ones that I tried on in this video. Um, but all of the other ones that I've tried, which are the AO2 and the K01, as well as the AO4, I want to say, those are all great. I love them. And yeah, if you want me to spend my money on more things because let's be honest I'm gonna spend my money anyway so might as well spend it on something that you guys can vicariously live through and not have to spend your money yourself let me know and yeah that's it I really have no idea what happened in this video but I hope you learned something and if anything I hope you learned not to spend your money on a bunch of eyelashes and not to trust reviews because our generation trusts reviews a little way too much and yeah.